Hello, everyone. I am Mrs. Arti Shingari from Kendra Vidalya Number no. One, Ahmed Nagar. Today we will learn, do the lesson, the magic porridge pot. Children, it is a lovely story from Class Two English NCERT. There was one girl called Tara. She lived with her mother. They were very poor. They did not have even food to eat. One day, Tara went to the forest. There she met one old lady. She talked to the old lady and talked about her house, her home, her mother. The old lady gave her a magic pot. The magic pot cooked porridge. The old lady said, if you say cook, pot cook, the pot will start cooking porridge. And if you will say stop, pot stop, it will stop cooking porridge. The girl became very happy. She ran to her mother and gave the magic porridge pot to her mother. She said to her mother, now we will not remain hungry. Whenever we are hungry, we will get food from this pot. This pot, if you say cook, pot cook, it will start cooking porridge. And if you say stop, pot stop, it will stop cooking porridge. Then Tara said, cook, pot cook. And the pot cooked porridge. They both were very happy. They both ate porridge till they were satisfied, till they were full. Then Tara said, stop, pot, stop. And the pot stopped cooking porridge. One day, Tara went out and her mother felt hungry. So she said, cook, pot, cook. And the pot cooked porridge. Her mother ate the porridge till she was full. And then she said, do not cook porridge. But the pot went on cooking the porridge. She said, stop cooking porridge. But the pot went on cooking porridge. And the porridge fell. It spilled on the floor. It went on the roads outside. Even the villagers on the road, they started eating porridge. Tara, when she was coming back home, she saw that everywhere there was porridge. She ran to her house. Her mother said, See Tara, the cock is not stopping. It is going on making porridge. Then Tara immediately said, Stop, pot, stop. And the pot stopped cooking porridge. Both were very happy. This much is the story in the textbook, children. But the story goes beyond. When the porridge stopped coming on outside on the road, the villagers told Tara, asked Tara, why you stop? We want to eat more porridge. Actually, Tara had thought that all the villagers will get angry because the roads were spoiled. But then the villagers were very happy to eat the porridge. Now in this lesson, there are different difficult words. So we will take the meanings and sentences. Magic, supernatural event that occurs on its own. The magician performed magic in our school. I can perform magic with magic cards. Cook. It is to prepare food. My mother cooks very delicious food. Do not cook food on hot flame. Porridge. It is a cereal boiled in water. In Hindi we can say khichdi. Or in Marathi, you say lapsi, dalia. 
eating porridge is a healthy option actually we should we should eat porridge it is very soft and easily digestible porridge is very soft to eat spilling spilling means to overflow the spilling of porridge has created a mess in room it has spoiled all the room wipe off the spilling carefully whole whole means all or entire i spent the whole day traveling the whole class was appreciated by the teacher village village is a group of houses the village panchayat was held on every sunday i went to my village during summer holidays children these sentences i have made on my own but you can make different sentences you can use your own creativity and make new sentences now we will see the question answers where did tara go one day tara went to the forest one day what did the old woman give tara the old woman gave a magic pot to tara what did the magic pot cook the magic pot cooked porridge who said do not cook pot yes mother said do not cook pot why was there so much porridge on the road there was so much porridge on the road because tara's mother did not know what to say so that the pot stops cooking porridge rhyming words pot pot hot dot cot tot fort bot see the spelling children boon moon soon spoon cook book hook and took fill in the blanks with a and or the these are articles children a is indefinite means you can use it anywhere and is used for vowel sounding words a e i o u and the the is used for particular when you are definite then it, the is used so once there was a beautiful garden why a because it can be any garden but now the garden has become one particular garden so we will use the word the the garden had an apple tree an orange tree and a gobar tree the gobar tree are many so a gobar tree in now it will be the why because it has become particular now in the garden lived a big giant giant can be any so a but now this giant has become particular so here we will use again the the giant did not like children to play in the garden the giant used to eat a fruit every day from the garden he did not share this with the children the garden dried up so you understood the use of a n and the now we will do picture composition ever since grandpa fell down and sprained his arm he has changed he has become very quiet he does not even speak to us he keeps sleeping the whole day and he is very sad he does not even go out the grandchildren are talking about their grandfather grandpa loved to go for walks he loved to do his exercises we must try to make him go for a walk with us and do some exercise in the park i can see grandpa's friends 
Let us talk to them. Grandpa, your friends are here. Talk to them while we play. They have missed you. Thank you, my children, for taking me out in the fresh air. It's been a long time. I have been with my friends and for a walk. See how the children, they love their grandfather. So here we should learn children. We, we should love our grandparents. We should give them respect and love. Take care of them. Now from this picture composition, we will um, choose the correct alternative. Grandfather sprained his? Yes, the correct answer is arm. Grandfather loved. What he loved? He loved walking. He missed. Grandfather missed his what? Yes, he missed his exercise. Before grandfather fell and after he fell, what changes came in him? Grandfather used to go for walks. Now what changes has come? Now he sleeps all day. Grandfather used to talk. Now he is silent. He doesn't talk to anybody. Grandfather met many friends. Now he does not go for a walk outside. So he doesn't meet any friends. I hope you like this lesson, children. Enjoyed it. Please keep learning. Learning is very important. Educate yourself. Become, become good. Become something when you grow up. Okay, children, all the best.